In the previous video, we reported how Japan's slim moon lander achieved a historic pinpoint landing on the moon, something that has never been done before. But there was a twist. Slim landed upside down and unable to communicate with Earth. If you haven't watched that video yet, you can find the link in the description below. Today we have a new evidence showing that the spacecraft ended up upside down on the moon's surface and unable to communicate with Earth. In this video, we will show you the new image of SLIM that was released by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, on January 25, 2024, and what it reveals about the lander's condition and location. We will also explain how the image was taken and transmitted by two hopping robots that accompanied SLIM and what are the implications and prospects for the future of lunar exploration. So stay tuned to find out. The image of SLIM that you are seeing on your screen right now was taken by a Lunar Excursion Vehicle 2, or LEV-2, one of the two autonomous probes that SLIM released before touchdown. LEV-2 is a small, spherical robot that weighs about 1.5 kilograms and has a diameter of 15 centimeters. It is equipped with two cameras, one on the top and one on the bottom, that can capture images of the lunar surface and the sky. The main purpose of this vehicle is to explore the lunar environment and collect scientific data, such as the temperature, pressure, and magnetic field of the moon. But LEV-2 also has another important role, to communicate with SLIM and another hopping robot, LEV-1. Its main function is to relay data and images from SLIM and LEV-2 to Earth, directly, not via SLIM. However, both vehicles can communicate with each other and with SLIM using a wireless network protocol called DTN, or Delay Disruption Tolerant Networking, which is designed to cope with the challenges of interplanetary communication, such as long delays, high error rates, and intermittent connectivity. It also allows the robots to store and forward data packets until they reach their destination, without requiring a continuous link. This is how LEV-2 sent the image of SLIM to LEV-1, which then transmitted it to Earth directly. This was the world's first mission to achieve such a complex and autonomous operation on the lunar surface, and it shows the potential of using multiple robots to cooperate and explore the moon. The image of SLIM that LEV-2 took shows that SLIM is upside down on the moon, lying on its nose, with its solar panels facing the wrong direction. This means that it cannot generate power and communicate with Earth, and that it may have suffered some damage during the landing. The cause of the landing anomaly was a loss of thrust in one of SLIM's main engines in the final stages of its descent, which made it land harder than planned. It has a box-shaped body that measures 2.5 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 1.8 meters high. It weighs about 600 kilograms and has four main engines and 12 attitude control thrusters. It also has four solar panels that can produce up to 600 watts of power and a high gain antenna that can send and receive data and images. SLIM's landing system consists of a guidance, navigation, and control, or GNC module, a laser altimeter, a laser range finder, and a hazard detection camera. These instruments allow SLIM to autonomously select a safe and suitable landing site and to adjust its trajectory and attitude accordingly. SLIM's target site was a 100-meter-wide zone near the Scioli Crater, which is located in the south polar region of the Moon. This region is of scientific interest because it may contain water ice and other resources that could be useful for future lunar missions. This landing system on the spacecraft was designed to achieve a landing accuracy of within 100 meters, which is much smaller than previous missions, such as Apollo, which had a landing accuracy of about 10 kilometers, or Chang'e, which had a landing accuracy of about 3 kilometers. Despite the landing mishap, SLIM still managed to hit its target zone, landing only 55 meters away from its intended site, in between two craters. This was a historic achievement for Japan, as it demonstrated a high-precision landing system that can target unexplored and challenging areas of the moon. SLIM's mission is not over yet, 
and there is still hope that it will be able to recharge when the moon enters its daytime in the coming days. The moon has a day-night cycle of about 28 Earth days, and Slim landed on the moon on January 18, 2024, when it was near the end of its night. The lunar night is very cold, with temperatures dropping to below minus 150 degrees Celsius, which can affect the performance of the batteries and electronics. It also has a thermal control system that uses heaters and insulation to keep the temperature within a safe range, but it also consumes power. The batteries have a capacity of about 1.5 kilowatt hours, which is enough to operate for about 24 hours. However, slim solar panels are facing the wrong direction, and they cannot receive any sunlight until the moon rotates enough to expose them. This means that slim has to rely on its batteries to survive the lunar night which lasts for about 14 Earth days. If it can power up again, it may be able to send more data and images, including high-resolution ones, that could provide more insights into the lunar environment and SLIM's performance. It also has a scientific payload that consists of a spectrometer, a magnetometer, and a seismometer that can measure the composition, magnetic field, and seismic activity of the Moon. The mission is also a valuable technology demonstration for future lunar exploration, as it shows that it is possible to land on unexplored and challenging areas of the Moon, such as mountainous regions that may hold resources of fuel, water, and oxygen. It is also a testament to Japan's space capabilities and ambitions, and precedes its planned participation in the Artemis program and the Lunar Gateway project. In this video, we have shown you the new image of Japan's slim moon lander that was taken by a hopping robot, and what it reveals about the lander's condition and location. We have also explained how the image was taken and transmitted by two hopping robots that accompanied slim, and what are the implications and prospects for the future of lunar exploration. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about slim and its mission. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We would love to hear from you. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time.